the artist Ian Carlson invited me to collab on a track. Before I dive more into the free plugin that saved our song, let me give you a bit of the context. So his prompt for me was that we should make a 60s Sam and Dave vibe soul song. Spoiler alert, it turned out pretty different from that. And he wanted our collab to be quite efficient, so my job was to come up with a brass riff that you might hear in a Sam and Dave track. And because I'm a proud owner of Complete 14, naturally I tried to look for some brass sounds in the standard edition of Complete 14. And the main way to get brass in there is, of course, session horns. The first riff I came up with was wide outside of the prompt, but it still sounds pretty nice. It sounds like this. With some keys. Yes, the session horns too sound quite nice, especially in this more mellow tone. But it is so limiting to work with these. For example, I wanted to have individual channels for some trumpets, a trombone, maybe a saxophone, but you can't do that. All you can do is choose between predefined ensembles. For example, the trumpet 1 slash trombone slash trumpet 2 combination that I used here. That's the first quite limiting factor. It's not terrible because of this voice assistant right here. For example, with this legato selection, depending on which note you play, it will intelligently decide which samples it should trigger. For example, in the lower registers, you will only hear the trombone. And a bit higher, you might hear all three players. And in the top end, you will only hear the trumpets. Anyways, I had to try to come up with another riff that fit the prompt a bit more closely, and I came up with this. And as you heard, there is a distinct difference between the three players. I'm still working with the two trumpets and the trombone, and all three instruments are panned individually and they're playing a distinct melody. But I can't mix them individually. And if I only play one note at a time, all three instruments will be triggered. This is extremely limiting in how you can use this plugin. And even though I have installed all of the samples I would need to make certain things, I can't because the plugin doesn't allow me to. And I think this is a fair complaint because this isn't a free product. Yeah, it's part of the complete bundle and you kind of get a good deal if you buy the whole complete 14 standard bundle. But it's still supposed to be a hundred dollars product and especially if I bought this as a hundred dollar product outside of the bundle, I would be pretty disappointed. Probably they're trying to save a lot of these features for the pro version, which is $300. And I get that it's marketing and they want to earn more money, but as a consumer this is a pretty bad experience. The next limiting factor of this plugin is right here, with the articulations. I mean it's very cool that there are so many different articulations in here, but how do you switch between them? Currently I'm using the Forte Piano Crescendo Time and it sounds like we heard. And I can change to a different one, for example Sustain. But how do I program these changes without key switches? Usually you would have these different articulations assigned to keys in this range right here and you could trigger them through MIDI and then the program would change. And if you go back to the pro version, look on the website, the first thing we're going to see are these key switches. It seems a bit prohibitive to work with this. Luckily there's a free plugin out there that saved this track and did pretty much everything I wanted Session Horns to do. And I talked about this plugin on this channel before, it's called Sign Player and it comes with the free Sign Factory library, Sign Factory. And today we're going to mainly look at Rotary, the free big band horns. You see you have some trumpets, a trombone, saxophones and a brass section. And the trumpet I'm using right here has seven different articulations that you can trigger through key switches. This specific line I made sounds like this. These key switches are maybe a bit obvious at points and could be a bit more smooth or a bit more level matched. And if you listen to this line in solo, it sounds a bit jarring at times, but in context, it gives some much needed variation and makes the whole section feel a lot more deep and alive. And also I think it's a pretty good tone for this style of music.
I also used the solo trumpet that comes with the Contact Factory Library 2. This one does have key switches, but compared to the 7 we saw in Sign Factory, this one only comes with two articulations that you can switch between. And the sustain are really not very suited for the style of music I'm going for. And even the staccato ones probably would work better in a more orchestral context. But in context it kind of works well enough. Next I used the trombone solo, also from Rotary from Sign Factory. This one has three different articulations that I'm going to switch between. Again, the two articulations sound a bit too different for them to be convincing in a solo, but in context it gives. And I'm also using the baritone sax. This one is maybe a bit weaker regarding its articulations because I think the staccatissimo sounds pretty good, but the marcato long is not as usable in most contexts, I find. Also because it can't play a convincing legato because of the release. Anyways, I think it's again something that works nicely to make the whole arrangement a bit richer and a bit more alive. So let's hear how it sounds if we just use the supposedly premium paid for contact instruments. And I do think that's not good enough. But if we add the free plugin Sign Player. And I think that's something you can work with. If you mix that properly and make a good song out of it, like we did, like my friend Ian Carlson did, I think it, it can work. Let's hear it with some keys, maybe some drums. And that's not even the only place where Sign Factory came in very handy and improved the track by quite a bit. In the chorus section we have this three bar loop and it always ends on like an empty bar with a big drum fill that we wanted to make a bit more interesting. But you can hear we come out of the chorus. And then there's this empty bar. And I used a whole bunch of Sign Factory stuff to put some interest in it. And this is how a free plugin saved our track. Check out Sign Factory. Also check out our song Eternal Peace Ensemble by Ian Carlson and Ed Baron Lane, that's me, out today, everywhere. See you again soon. Thanks for watching, subscribe, um, leave a like. The piano comparison video is coming soon. It was a lot of work to compare all these pianos. Yeah. Just blind